up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's good? Shoot Episode your shot. two. Episode two. Shoot your shot, man. We here. We right back. You Episode I mean? two of the Shoot Your Shot podcast. First thing I just want to say, I just want to say thank you to everybody yes. that was supporting the first yes. podcast. Thank you for all your shares, all your likes, all your comments, all your subscription, everything. It man. means a lot to us, definitely. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So, I, absolutely. You know, and you guys have ever have any questions, we're looking at every comment. So make sure, sure, you know, at you ask it. Um, we will definitely get back to you or we will address it in the podcast for sure. For sure. And that brings us to the next thing. I don't know if you guys got if you did get it. You got the exclusive email last night that I shot out to everybody in my contact list. Um, we're starting off a contest. Absolutely. You know the first shoot your shot contest, one first of many. Mm-hmm. And um, you know basically we're trying to uh, help everybody out, man, and give away some free some free stuff. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So basically, you know, um, the, the rules will be in the um, email. And they'll um, be in the description below. So make sure. Absolutely. F- first things first, make sure you follow all the rules because if you don't, you will not qualify for the contest. And you will not win. It'd be sad for, uh, you know, right. you to win and then you don't, you're don't. you not following it or whatever the situation right. may be. And some people that sent emails yesterday too, um, your, some links are faulty. Like you guys sent like um, either a song where I can't click on it or... Or a drop by, um, a G Drive link that I can't, I don't have access to. So make sure you send something proper that we can hear. So you know basically, I mean? it is a song contest, though, just for those who don't right. know, or just for those who do not have the email list or whatever, or not on the email list. It's a song contest. We will play your song. We're going to judge your song, or and we're going to pick a winner, um, and basically go from there. Right, yeah. We're going to pick a winner. The hottest song gets two free hours here in my studio, Jumbo Absolutely. Sound Studio. Um, me as the engineer. And, you know, we're going to create something crazy. Create you know something I mean? crazy. I'm, so, I'm yeah, submit your submit your song. You know what I'm saying? Send it to the email. The email is shootyourshotpodcast215 at gmail.com. Make sure you send it correctly so we can listen to it. And then... I think me and you are going to be a judge. Absolutely. And then we're going to bring in maybe one or two other judges so there's no bias and it's fair for everybody. Right. And hopefully by the next episode... We will we'll announce, have a winner. We'll announce the winner. And make sure you follow the rules. You got to follow us on the gram. You got to follow the Shoot Your Shot podcast um, gram as well. And you got to like and subscribe to our podcast. And that's it. On YouTube. But that's wh- it. That's that. We got the politics out the way. We got, you yeah, know what I mean? But so, without further ado, the second bottle of the ah, Shoot Your Shot podcast yeah. is one jump. Yeah, I'm going to shoot through the honors this let's time. Let's this bad boy open. Yeah, we okay, had to okay. step it up this oh, time. Oh, we stepped it up. Ah, with the hen dog. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I mean? You Your mean? producer. Uh. Throw that out for us. Shot. Absolutely. <laughs> and we got some real shot glasses, too. You know oh, we're I mean? stepping it so. up all the way around the board this time. That's what I like to yeah, see, Jump. You know. yeah, we got to elevate. We, we always elevate. Gotta elevate. You elevate. Know what I mean? elevate. Elevate. Hey. Okay. All right. Now so we, we had the section eight before. Now we on. <laughs> now we got the real thing, and that's yeah, what it's all about, exactly, man. Exactly, man. That's what it's all about. So it's time to get this first shot in. Get this first shot. Of the Shoot Your Shot Podcast yes. episode two. Episode two, man. You know, I think we're gonna get a little more turned up this time off of this. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We might get real turned up off of this, and I'm, you know, this is different. This is something different <laughs> than the than the Jesus. The Jesus, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now we got the hen dog. We got the hen dog, and I smell it already. Absolutely, yeah, you know, classic hen dog. Y'all already know classic henny. You yep. know what I mean. <laughs> That, that's that's just the basic go-to. That's yes, the sir. go-to. You know what I'm so saying? I'm going to pour up. You know what I mean? We're going to get it started. Do the honors. Do the honors. I had to get real shot glasses because if we OD on this, uh-huh. we're not going to be walking We're not going to make the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we... You know I mean? We still got to get home after this. That's really? the whole thing about this podcast. Y'all, y'all, think, y'all you know, think it's a game. I know. That we really doing this. We really doing this thing. So, yeah. Um, but... Yeah, man. You know, we might it's, as well it's just only get right, right to it. we get right to it. Get right to first it. First shot, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot podcast, episode two. First Oof. shot. Let's get it. Let's get it. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, that right we, up. now we gotta loosen up a little bit. Now you got me right in my zone. So yeah. we're gonna start this off. First question of the day. 
the question I got for you, Jump, and then I'm going to weigh in and get my opinions on it. All right. Um, but the first question of the day is, how do you feel about the Eminem album? That new Eminem album. That cover is something else. Okay. Did you see the cover? Absolutely. I guess it was a little controversy behind that uh, with him. Drawling, literally. <laughs> drawling as always. But, hey, that's what we expect out of M, you know what I mean? He always going to draw like that. Right. And not give a fuck what people think. Yeah, that's classic. Classic. You know what I mean? So, yeah, the music, I liked it. I liked, you know, I, I want to listen to it more because it's a lot of tracks. And, you know, nowadays, full albums are hard, man. For me, I don't know. But for me, full Same albums for me are so too. hard to listen to. Like, Absolutely. I'm a single guy, man. So, but... The first one with Young M.A., fire. <clears throat> yeah, that that I think it's the second or third song, but yeah, Young yeah, M.A. Yeah, it's the second, yeah, yeah, but that, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I really, before I get into my dive on it, I will say I do and want to give Eminem a shout out for giving Juice World and mm, Young M.A. Sure. Um, some big looks, because no matter what you think about Eminem or how you feel about him or how you feel about the music at this point, he is... One of the biggest artists of the game, if not one of the biggest artists ever. And for you to give these young people opportunities on these albums is always amazing. Yeah, I like, um, and I that's like a seeing, great especially somebody back. like Young M.A. who like, is that, is that how you say her name? Is it Young Ma or Young M.A.? Young M.A., Young Ma, whatever yeah. it is. You right. shot, like Especially people like her because she um, was independent. I don't know if she still is or not, but for so long she right. really came up independently. Yeah. She was grinding. Yeah, yep. and that's dope because... You know, I like I like to see people do it like that. You All know, right. You know what I'm saying? So my question is, one to five, five being great, one being terrible, where would you rate it? The album? Yeah. Just off a of first couple listens. I mean, I, I'm going to give it like a, I'll give it like a, damn. I don't want to, I don't want to do, I don't want to do them dirty, but I, I don't know. I want to listen to it more too. Just give me a rating. But I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a, a four, 4.2. 4.2, woo, that's kind of high. Yeah, it's a little high, but I liked I liked how he was how he came off strong with like a John that that sounds like it could be right. it could be a hit. You know what I'm saying with right. the um and he got the Ed Sheeran John on right. there. Okay. Which is dope. But maybe 4.2 is a little high, but I I wanted to give him benefit of the doubt because he's M and he's definitely a legend. Absolutely. Uh so first things first, I just want to say uh back in the day, loved Eminem. Um before I even get into the dive of Eminem, um, I think it's more of this conversation before I even get into the album. But uh, I want to say, like, I just don't know if, if I got too old or if it was a novelty all along. Yeah, I feel you on that. I mean, early, um, so, you got to so, think, so, we, so, he well, first came out, we were young. You right, know? right. And he was like the, he was very popping and... You know, right. So, so I don't know if it like like I said. So what, so, what are you rating it? What are you rating? Hold on, before I get into oh, that. Right. Let, let damn, me, let, damn let, I gave my number and no, shit. I'm, now I'm, I feel like I gotta no, dial it back. No, I, no, 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 not that shit number. I'm not <laughs> no, I know. But 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 that I gotta give the him the benefit of the doubt. I always give Eminem the benefit of the doubt. But here's a few things I wanna say about Eminem. First things first, um I think Eminem's getting away from actually trying to make a song. And st- I think he's yeah. just trying, he's trying to, to out-rap rap a yeah. rapper. He's trying to rap his... You know, he is um, a- I, it, it, it's, God, it's, God, it's, <laughs> What are you doing again? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got to shoot us out on that yeah, one. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you listen to that song, though, like, he really, he really is rapping. I think rapping that's Godzilla like that. third I verse. I don't, I don't think even think I'm dumping this shit. I don't even know what he's saying, bro. Yeah, but, shoot your shot on the Eminem flow. I couldn't do it. I want to see you rapper <laughs> shoot your shot on the Eminem flow. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Woo. Oh, we got two in before five minutes. Woo. So what I, basically what, I'm, what I was trying to say is that nowadays these young guys, and I really credit them for this, um, they're doing really well of creating emotion, vibes, and song structure. See, back in the day when Eminem was and really melody, popping, and, and melody, melody, and melody. Back in the day when Eminem was really popping, it was a lot of plug and play. Um, you know, and and, and like a lot it, of anthemy, uh, like jingly type shit. Right, and not you know only that. Well, let me just put it this way: 
I actually, I can give it to you a better way. I think Eminem is getting away from his strong points anyway. His strong points was the storytelling. Um, I like Stan. I like The Way I Am. Yeah. I like uh, Toy Soldiers. Uh, those are some of my favorite Eminem records, and I think... Um, he's getting away from that. Also, um, I think Eminem n- never needs a feature. Not to say that he shouldn't n- right. not have some, mm-hmm. but um, like when Marshall Mathers come on and you're a criminal, and he's on a whole yeah, biggest song. He's on, had enough, had he's on all parts of the song, and I uh, I think I like that better than um, you know, the plug and play. Me personally, I can't stand the the, the Ed Sheeran record. I don't like none of that plug and play stuff because it's like it's like Ed Sheeran sunning from his studio, and then Eminem did it on his studio, and. True. For some reason, when Eminem does that, now a lot of people do that. Now I'm not going to knock him, just Eminem, so I don't want to act like I'm just putting. Him but he out. won with the, you know, "Love the Way You Lies" and stuff like that. That's not my favorite Eminem record. Nah, you're right, but That's it was not, a, no it was a hit though. It was a hit. It was a hit. I mean, That's what I'm saying. Like he won with that. But so I feel like I when you plug and play. With. You're aiming for a hit. Yeah. And when you're Eminem, yeah. you're going to... I mean, Eminem... No, I like that perspective, Eminem though, because it definitely seems like he ch- maybe tries to force it a little bit yeah, with, because with the features and trying to get that I, radio record. You know, I but. know he could do it. I know yeah. Eminem, because there's a song in the middle of the album, I can't think... I forget what it's called, but that tone. Also, my, my second point about the uh, Eminem album is this. It's called Music To Be Murdered By... But we got all these goddamn club records he's trying to get on here. Yeah. What happened to the dark tones? What happened to mm. uh I wanna kill my mama and or I got dead <laughs> dead dead skeletons in my closet Kim. and all that stuff. I Kim. was looking for that. As soon as I seen it drop, I was like, oh yes. Yeah. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm looking for Kim and Haley and who's dead today. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was. I, as soon as I turned it on, now mind you, the intro was perfect. The intro got me warmed up. I'm like, oh okay, he ready to rock and roll. That tone that he was rocking with from the intro, I thought he was going to keep going. Then I heard a Young M.A. record. It surprised me. Yo, the Young M.A. record was so surprising. I literally thought my Spotify went to a different Yo, playlist. I really did too, bro. When it came, I was like, Yo, wait, is this an M song? I, I had, I, when the Eminem album dropped, I heard about it on Instagram, and I instantly went to Spotify and streamed it. Um, like I said, I am an Eminem fan, and you know, I hope he does well, and I wanted to hear it. And just just to, for the in, in insight but um, you know, I, it, it, the first first record was good. The second record, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Young May on here? I had to go yeah, get the. It phone. definitely didn't sound like an M record when I, cause I was on a plane. I just got back from L. A. That shit was lit too, by the way. Shout out to you in L. A. Yeah, um, but yeah, uh, I heard it on the plane when I touched down, and I'm like, it was the M. A. John, and I was like, wait, am I still on the Eminem album? Like, yeah, yeah, you know I mean, so I, but it wasn't bad though. It's, it's definitely a good record. Yeah, it's a good record, yeah, but man. like I said, it, it's not music to be murdered by. I'm hearing all this, <laughs> you know, clubby. Like I think, like if I had to guess, it was like f- three through, or we even say two through seven. It's like club records. Even the, the he got like, a lot of modern type modern, beats on there too. Not, <clears throat> yeah, but I don't know. So that's my second take on it. So uh, music to be murdered by is that. It was like a perfect Eminem title, and I didn't feel like he capitalized on the angle that he could have went or the tones and sonics and ideas that he could have went. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for Stan when I hear music to be murdered by. I'm looking for toy soldiers. I'm looking for that type of sentiment, that type of tone, that type of direction, and I don't think he went that direction, and it kind of upset me from from the gate. Um, just Damn, with so, that. So what's your number then? Damn, uh, you, I'm, you I'm shooting, low? I, shooting low? Oh, the, the number's low. Nah, that's Damn, for sure. I but, gave him a 4.2. But I wanted to give an expert. <laughs> but I, I kind of liked what I heard. Like, the, the Juice World, John, I like that. Right. Like, it's a good record. You well, once I mean? again, and for me, it's a great record. But, I like, you know, of course, Juice World passed away. I don't know if this was before he passed away or right. after. Um, but with that being said, you know, uh, I don't know. Like it's 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 a good record. I like Juice World on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if that makes any sense, I like the hook. I mean, but like you know, Eminem is dope though. Like you know, lyrically, we all know he's dope. And uh, like I said, I just feel like he's trying to out rap a rapper. Um, so with that being said, if I had to if I had to uh, rate the album, I would say two a very low two and that's mm. being even generous um i probably will never listen to the album again 
Um, there's no playback value for me. That's just keeping Damn. it all the way to the oils. I feel you. Um, I pr- I never would ride around in the car with Eminem on. I'm not spending no blocks with Eminem on. I hear you on that. Um, whoever whoever said that, somebody said they don't. Uh, people, what was it? What did somebody say? They said, they said people in the hood don't listen to Eminem. Right, and I, I I'm definitely Which not. I could, I could probably. Agree I'm not. With that. I'm not. You know, I'm not blown. I'm not drinking no shots to Eminem. We not shooting a <laughs> shot. <laughs> 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 not doing that. That's the first time. Eminem. That's the first that's time no we're not shooting hold on, shot. But hold on, say it. that's no offense to Eminem because I yeah. really and I don't want to sound condescending. About I just don't. I don't know how M could come back with with what we fell in love with. M I can't. I, I know exactly how he could do it. Easy. Tell me a story. Yeah. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Tell me a story. I'll be. I'll be right there. You understand what I'm saying? Like, mm. I'm like, yo, like, tell me a story. I want to hear about your people's dying. I want to hear how you want to kill Kim or Mariah Carey for all I give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Just seriously tell me a story. Get a little deeper. I don't want to hear you, you know, chopping up the syllables. I mm. know you could do that, Em. Yeah, he em, def- you could chop them <laughs> syllables with the best of them. For but real. I never, but see, this is the thing. And it's going to lead into my next question. And it's perfect segue. But... My thing is like, like, I never considered like cannabis and Busta Rhymes and those guys that could go blah, whatever the hell you just did, whatever the hell he tried to do, <laughs> as one of the best lyricists. They don't rap for me. Yeah, They're I mean, not may- saying maybe during the me. battle rap, cannabis. When I like, when like I that. hear lyricism, I like people that are saying stuff that I can repeat, people that are saying stuff that I can live by. Like, Jay, they say, there's a quote that says, Jay-Z gave you a quote for every situation in your life. Mm. That's lyricism to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying it ain't about how fast you can rap or yeah, we had how a, many we, syllables we had a classic, you can chop up. We had a classic Jay-Z quote on the last podcast. First podcast, we had a Jay-Z quote. And that, That's a fact. And Go there's back. a thousand of them. And there's a thousand mm-hmm. of them. For every situation in life, Jay-Z gave you a quote. That's lyricism. Same thing, you know, a lot of people, you know, or that way, but Jay-Z <laughs> specifically. And, you know, he's not even always credited as one of the best lyricism, lyrics, lyricists, but um, it... He should be, but that's neither here nor there. So when I look at lyricism, that's how I look at it. Me, it's not about how fast you rap. And that's always the misconception because people, I remember back in the day, like 06 through 01, uh, people used to think that lyrical, lyrical, eat you like some cereal was lyricism. And I used to go to these little, I, I used to be a rapper back then, so I used to go to these little dive bars and go in the ciphers and these turtlenecks. That thought they were that, that thought they were lyricists, you know, they they were all against the mainstream, so they would hit you with the lyrical, lyrical, rip you like Jose Rio. Right, you gotta say get something. Get a quick that, burial that catches you. No, that's not lyricism to me. That never been lyricism. Right. That always was shit I made fun of. Syllables, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's I'm saying syllable. I, I mean, syllables are cool, but you gotta be saying something. You can chop the syllables up. I'm cool with that, and right. and I and I, and I feel like it's blasphemy. Me trying to give, you know, <laughs> like tell Eminem what. I'm just telling them how I feel about it. Yeah, what you know, I'm hear. not. You know, that's just my personal opinion. If if any fan, um, because I am a fan, once again, I will say it again. If any fan, you know, perspective could help. You know, I, that's all I'm trying to give. Eminem could outrap me and could tell me more about rap than I could ever know. But I'm just trying to say how I feel about it. So don't get it misconstrued. This is how I feel about lyricism. Now, I don't know what the popular opinion is. I'm the voice of the unpopular opinion. I'm Checkmate TV. Y'all got to get it right. You know, I'm going to keep it <laughs> real. So this is how I feel about it. So I don't, you know, let's not get that misconstrued. Once again, I don't feel like breaking down syllables all day is lyricism. It is a form of lyricism. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never considered Busta Rhymes the best lyricist, lyricist, and he could chop syllables up with the best of them. And Twister, too. Twister. Twister used to. I never considered them lyricists. Yeah, that's not cool to me. I don't... I, yeah. if, I, just because you're... Yeah, I, I, it's because there's no... There's no... Uh, like, Lyrics! <laughs> that, that, but, like, there's no, like, resay value where, like, you're going to, like, say that shit, Good that line jump. back. You know what Good I'm saying? Good call, Jum. Resay, replay value are big right. and for me. Like, them li- them lines that Hove be saying, like, they here forever. Here forever. You know I, what I'm saying? And here forever. That's where mu- that's what music needs. I think I think that's where music needs to go. Right. And we need to shoot a shot to that. Because, Absolutely. Because if you, if you 
uh, mix that with melody, right. uh, you might have the best song in the world. Well, see, the, close, the closest person to that is Drake. Right. Yeah, he Drake, be doing it. Yeah, it, it's he definitely funny, doing It's it. funny with Drake because um, Drake literally gives you melody, and I don't care what nobody said, like, bar for bar, like, it's potent. See, the thing, oh, perfect. The thing about lyricists nowadays is that you got to pres- See, back in the day, you could have a, what, what, what we call a cadence in music terms. You could have a sloppy cadence, but have some good punchlines. Now it's more so about the cadence. Right. So at the end of the day, you can't have a sloppy cadence. So you need so you can. artists some, out there. Some do, though. You got, your, you got your rappers that be off beat and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Right, but that that works. I'm only talking about for the lyricism aspect. I'm not right, talking about right. for the people that aren't lyricists. But I'm saying on the lyricism aspect of things, people are focused on cadence now. You understand what I'm saying? Their their your voice and your tone and your your you know your beats have to really mesh with their body and their club movements and the stuff that they're going to do with there. So that's what I give Drake props for because he's very great at making melodies and also give you bars in between that will feed your soul for yeah, the average bar, and bars that you're going to re- put on like put on your caption and shit like caption that. Caption bars. Like, and, I only love my bed and my mama. I'm sorry. Like, right, that's, like just that's stuff a, like that's, that. That's a good line. That's, that's a, line, a great line. That's the type of lines that... That and, you're and, gonna and, remember. And, you, and hold on, you saw you sung it. You saw the melody. And it, there was, was a there. melody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So that was the. Cadence. I ain't even peep. We just fe- we that, just figured that shit that, out. That was the cadence he gave it to you in, but it was still a line. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm saying yeah. that's the thing that these older MCs are gonna have to get with because, like, and let me get off Eminem for a second. Let me just talk about Nas. Nas is one of my favorite lyricists of all time. You can't take nothing away from Nas. He's one of the best that ever do it for sure, bar none. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day. He did put out seven tracks with Kanye, and I'm like, damn, we got another two point nothing album. Yeah, I, I like one. I like one of the tracks on. <laughs> yeah, well, that's another two point nothing album. What's going on here? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying so, and I well, and I, I feel like it's just uh, you know, old heads not being able to adapt. Yeah, I think you know they're sticking. To, they're sticking to the guns, you know, you know of where like they for came example, from. Like, like for example, know. I'm about to be 31 on February. That's like me saying, "Oh no, nah, I'm too old to be doing a podcast," or "I'm too old to be on social media." You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Now I'm boxing myself out of you know an angle or a place I could be making money but or that, making that, income. I don't think they're saying that if they're coming out with albums. No, you know? I, I, I but do. I hear you. They're not adapting no, to the sound. But right, because no, what, I, what I'm trying to say is basically like. What they're what they're base essentially doing is stick it to what they did best. Right. You understand right, what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of a like, like for example, you know, people play football in, in the 1950s. They always ran the ball. Right. I just heard a fact the other day. There was no there was routes didn't come out to like 1956 or something like that. Routes? Passing routes. Oh, passing routes. Oh shit. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, so that means adapted. everybody's playing backyard football. And that means the coaches had to adapt. And now you had as to well adapt. As the players. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, Santa, I'm a firm believer of adapt. Santa Fran's running. Run. Uh, they threw seven passes last week. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? Because the run. PO, and that strategy though too. You know that people you know? are adapted. Yeah. It's adapted. Yeah. If you can't adapt. Then you will always forever be. What, what do you What do you behind. think about What do you think about an artist getting so big, like a like an Eminem? You know what I mean? As so they get so big and they ain't got nobody around them. Everybody's a yes man around them, so they don't. Maybe they don't have like somebody saying, "Bro, you need to do this shit, bro," because this shit ain't it. You know what I mean? All right, solo. This this is how I feel about that. I feel as though you need to always be in tune to where a yes man don't matter. Mm. So meaning like Right I'm You don't need somebody be, else Yeah I feel I'm you. never gonna be so out of touch With the streets That I need Turtleneck on the side To tell me mm. 
You know what I'm saying? Why turkey burger got to influence my? But, but you've seen it happen a lot though, yeah, especially in music. Absolutely. Now, if you make a song, you know you don't want no yes men telling you it's hot or not. That's cool. But I know the direction I'm going to go in, and I know the I know the landscape of the environment because I've been paying attention. Right. Now, if the song's hot or not, because I'm trying something new, that's different. You know what I'm saying? Every album I've heard of Eminem in the last four years, he's telling me I'm not going to do a take he beat. Why? What's right. the point? What are we mad at? Yeah, yeah, it's true. That's like I was hating almost. You know, he said that. He said that in this yeah. album. Yeah. He be I'll a lot never of do a like Take KB. All right, cool. <laughs> I agree with you. I mean, like, I... I he probably hold would. On, he hold on. Let me make this clear, actually. <laughs> I don't really like new music. I like old shit. You know what I'm saying? I like people that had bars. But, like, you, but you like adapt. You like being able to but adapt. But I like being to able to adapt. Shit. Like straight up. And, and 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 you know I love you know the new music too. At the same time, I'm I'm able to adapt. My same ears. Here. I'm not I'm not an old head. I remember when I was growing up, my folks, my cousins, and people older than me were like, "Yo, that little Wayne shit was garbage," or that you yeah. know that shit was garbage. I'm not that mm -hmm. person that's ever gonna grow up because I can adapt. I'm not that uh, person that's gonna say, "Yo, Rowdy Rich is trash." He's one of my favorite guys yeah, right like now. It's Tupac and Biggie you know what or what I'm Die. Rowdy you know? Rich is one of my favorites. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't the most lyricist, ly ly like lyrics guy or whatever the situation. And, and I think that I'm goes like. back to what, what, like, I think we touched on it on the last podcast of like the generations. Right. You know what I mean? And a newer generation is always going to depict the sound because because the kids listen. run everything. Exactly. That's who's listening to the music. Like high school kids. Absolutely. Are setting trends. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that age. That was my golden age of listening to music and headphones on a, on a school bus and shit Absolutely. like that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, so that leads to my next question. And before my next question, we're going to shoot our shot. Yeah. Let's get it. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Mm. Yeah, that, that's a little more rough than the E&J, bro. I ain't going to lie. Ugh. Now that I did the Henny, uh, the Henny and the E&J... Back to back, hey, Henny is something different. <laughs> I got me sweating on the podcast. Yo, I, ain't I knew it. I knew be, it was gonna be different. I'm gonna be drenched by the end of this podcast. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> but anyway, this is my question: Is lyricism dead? No. Well, it depends what you consider lyricism, but nah, there's no way it's dead. Especially when you got to me, like like we were saying. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. That's lyrics, bro. Like that's lyrics I like to hear. Now, if you, now are we talking about metaphors lyrically? Like, cause there's still people doing that too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so they're definitely so. not dead. It's not what it used to be, but the people that that used to be doing it, I think, are still doing it. Okay. Somewhat. So I got a question. So I guess let me let me let me point this question a little bit more point buoyant. So. My question is, if you think, if an artist came in here and said, I want to get on the radio, okay? I want to have a number one hit, okay? Would you tell him to rap a, a thousand bars with a hook and a, a something else? Or would you tell him to get on one of them double time beats and, and try to woe to it and, and, and snap your fingers? No, I wouldn't tell him neither of those. I would tell him, do what you feel. Because okay. don't follow the next man, bro. Because I'm tired of hearing that shit. Right. I'm tired. Okay. Okay. I'm tired Hold of on. hearing. Now, this is no offense to anybody that comes here and does this, because you, you definitely people come up with hot songs. But I'm tired of hearing a Polo G type beat, bro. And somebody trying to sing on that shit like Polo G. Like, Hold like on. I it, gotta that's cool. But like, I'd rather see somebody come come with a beat that's not like the new hottest out right now and do their own shit that they feel on it and not follow the script. You See, know what I'm saying? I, I, like, I like the way you said that because if Eminem was sitting right here, I feel like he would have said the same thing you just he said. He probably would have, but... And he's probably doing what he feels too. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he's big enough to be able to put so an album out and everybody yeah, listens so, to so, it. But, but my question is... Jay-Z. We're going to go back to Jay-Z. Jay-Z said a classic line... And it was, I dumbed down for my audience and doubled my dollars. They right. criticized me for it, but they all yell holler. Skill right. set, truth be told, I'll probably be lyrically Talib Kweli. Right. So basically what he was saying in that is like, I adapted to what y'all were doing over here. I could spit all day. Like, I could chop shit down. I could rap like Talib Kweli. I could rap like Cannabis, Big L, whoever you want to call it. But I 
sat down, dumbed down, made a hit, and then did what I wanted to do. But so when, when he was, dumbed it down, though, he didn't wasn't doing what anybody else was doing. Well, granted, he was better than like, but like he right. get, when he said that he gave us fucking blueprint. No cap. You know what I'm saying? No cap. And he didn't dumb down blueprint. He said, I got to make this song cry. And <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, yes. Hey, he did what he felt, bro. Right. So I don't know if he came out with Blueprint before he said that or not. Nah, but... that was Blueprint 1. So, you know what I'm saying? And he he did. Yo, there's so many. Ev- that's like my favorite Actually, album. Actually, I think that song. Oh, and, and it's not dumbed down. Been like, been like been you could never say dynasty. Blueprint is dumbed down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think he got one fucking. Dumb album. Dumb <laughs> <laughs> no, but not even like a trendy song on there for the time. Like, well, see, the times you know are different. What I'm see, but it, that's because I think YouTube changed the game a lot as far as the way that music goes. Because all the all the artist really does nowadays is type in the person's type beat that they want to that they want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, like I said, Polo G type beats. That's what a lot of people are doing right now because. That's what people like to hear. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the game is kind of staying more stagnant because of that. You know right. what I'm saying? And I mean, I think there's no, I think way, ways we could change that is like artists working with with their own producer instead of finding a tight beat. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all create a sound together and it is going to be something that that'll change the game. You know what I mean? Look at Drake, bro. Yeah. When Drake first came out, he had that underwater sound, bro. And and that's 40 and Drake, bro. You're you know talking what I'm too deep for him. So now it's my turn for the All deep right, well, dive. But you know, but that shit's real though. You know it's what I'm real. saying? Like right, that's how you create a new sound. Deep dive you know what I'm time from Checkmate TV. <clears throat> Fuck okay. it. We need to you got me a sound. Right, Pour the shot up while I get. <laughs> deep dive time. And it's time but, for OG knowledge. That's what I'm gonna start calling this. Ready? Most artists that blow up have a producer. The reason why they have a producer, they created their own sound. That's why they blew up. Facts. Meek Mills, Jalil Beats, Drake 40, it list goes on. At okay. Tay, Tay Keith and uh, was it Baby? Yeah, all well, them dudes. Uh, the Baby and Jetson. Yeah, they and, got that uh, box. Fabio yeah. Foreign and Axel. Axel. <laughs> <laughs> right. So nah, yeah, that's man. the way. It, that's the way it goes. The reason why it goes like that I'm is glad, because I'm they glad this conversation is going here too. Right. This means a lot to me being a producer. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying. So what happens is a producer and an artist find a sound that works. Um. You know they find a sound that works, and believe it or not, you could go to any studio and, and knowledge is so vast in the music industry that a lot of people, no matter how you explain it, if you can't explain it exactly correctly, they won't be able to recreate what you got going on. So being that they won't be able to create what you got going on, you have to stick with your 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 producer that has your sound. And when you stick with your producer that has your sound, you guys can create something epic. And not even your sound, but your chemistry, too. Because chemistry Yeah, it is a chemistry key. thing. It For is sure. a chemistry thing, too. That's the chemistry thing. So, so with that being said, um, you know, artists, you definitely want to find a producer slash engineer slash mainly an engineer that can provide the sound slash, you know... But the producer does, too. ...vibe that you want to sound like. For sure. Um, For sure. And that's like a major key. So you need and to come to me, is what he's saying. Like, basically, <laughs> yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. Nah, like, real you, shit, you, you come to the gym, y'all get a good vibe, you need to stick with him because what happens is you'll go to fucking the biggest studio in the world and then you'll be like, yo, I want that auto-tune right where Jum puts it. And their interns fucking engineering. And their interns engineering <laughs> and you're like, fuck, I just, went, I just paid fucking $190 an hour. And no bullshit, yo... I know artists that went out to L.A., right? <laughs> went into, like, big studios and shit. They calling me, like... Yo, how that auto-tune work? Yo, yeah, what's your auto-tune setting? I'm like, bruh, I don't... Yeah. It ain't no fucking setting, bro. It's the key to beat. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's no it. And if you don't know how to do that, then... I'm sorry, I don't but know. But that's how I get, though. So, basically, yeah. that's that's key number one. Mm-hmm. You know, um, You know... Basically, formulate your own sound. Find as soon as you formulate your own sound, keep that producer. And I love like when, I love when somebody comes up here with a producer too, because when they're building together and shit, right. you know what I'm saying? Because right. they're finding their own sound, you know right. what I'm saying? And 
and it's like a team effort and it's it's a vibe. There's nothing like a, a producer artist vibe. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing like it. So that's the thing. Producer sure. artist vibe is a thing. And maybe that's where M where M went wrong too. Like maybe he needs to remember- Well see, M was creating his own beats. Right, he was, and he still is. But he was but who was his producer? Who was his producer? Dre. Dre, of course. Dr. But, Dre, man. The but he doc. was he, but Dr. See, Dre made Slim Shady. You Dr. Feel Dre me? made a few cuts on this thing, I think. I'm too. sure he probably did. I'm sure but, he probably did. But 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 there's nothing like the beginning, man. Yeah. When when y'all catch that rhythm and fucking when y'all catch that rhythm and it's something different. Like yo, you, you, that's how you shoot your shot. That's how you shoot yeah, your man. shot. Yo, I'm like dying, but it's okay. We're gonna you keep going. You hot? <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> you got checkmate shirt on under there. You know what I mean? I actually do. Yeah, I know. I knew it. <laughs> that's another thing too. We want to get we want to get some merch out there too. So like that's what I want to do these contests for too. Not only for studio time, like maybe we'll do like a runner up. Right. You know, and uh, maybe two runner ups and give them some shirts and shit like that. You know Absolutely, what I'm definitely merch is coming out soon. I'll definitely have some merch from you guys. I, uh, if not, if you want to just get the merch, teespring.com forward slash checkmate TV, you can get all the merch. Mm. That's for sure. But um, also okay, so lyricism not dead. You can uh, still do lyricism while you create a song nowadays that's create, what it is create, yeah and create melody, melody. and cadence um, <clears throat> it, but it's like so weird though because I feel like if you could create a melody you can't you're not a good lyricist it's like I don't know why that ever was but I feel like that's been that nah, way I mean and I, I feel don't... like the only person that could do that is Drake Drake and Ye maybe I never considered Ye a lyricist <laughs> he said some wild <laughs> shit though <clears throat> Ye, said, Ye has, has had some bars Ye is just my vibe yeah. <laughs> so who you, so who you think you got somebody you have somebody that you think is gonna take it there in like 2020 20, this decade maybe or they're probably not out yet okay so let me break down everybody for you real quick because i don't the know be- i don't know if there's one I, out right now. I, I i got you so the best person i i would have to say under drake with melody and lyricism would have to be j cole See, yeah. the thing about J. Cole is he, technicalities again. I like to get technical. He has the same melody on every song, I feel like. Yeah. But it's just amazing. And it's not like an auto-tune vibe either. It's not like it's an more, auto-tune vibe it's either. More like it's like a 50, amazing. old 50 vibe. If it's I like, can. just like, just like, it's, it's just right there. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's just a, like yeah. amazing. I like that shit. And he talks about what I like. Um, you know, and it's just like, I, I think J. Cole is literally the epitome of, you know, not using too much auto-tune. But, but I, but I think melody. also you could win, you could you could still be considered like one of them lyrical type rappers, but not have the best lyrics, but still have melody too. Like, because right, so like, I don't about, consider J. Cole to be like the best lyricist. We got to... So, but he's in that category. We're going to look at this like you know crazy saying? if we're not talking about Kendrick. So I'm going to just yeah, break yeah, down yeah, Kendrick. Well, yeah, All right, sure. so let me break down Kendrick for and you. And Kendrick said... I am a sinner who's probably gonna sin, sin again. again. <laughs> like Don't he was saying, he got the me. melodies too, boy. Like, and that's my that's one of my favorite albums of all time. All right, too. so I let's let's it. break down Kendrick. I have to be harsh here. I love you, Kendrick, but I have to be harsh. <laughs> I gotta be real. I can't not be me if I don't be real. Now, Kendrick Lamar, once again, chopping syllables too fast for me. Not a big fan, but. I love what he got going on. There's a few songs that I love from him. He just hasn't had a few projects. Lately. I think he's I got love some, from I think him. he's got something cooking up. Dude. Um Kendrick is by far, I will recognize him as the top three, four in the game for sure. Yeah. If facts. not two or three. Um that is that. But at the end of the day, like I said, f- rapping fast doesn't make you a lyricist to me. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Bro. I that's like a, that's metaphors. That's a good point. That's a good... I like metaphors. Um, mm-hmm. You know, one thing I do like about Kendrick, though, he'll take you underwater. He'll take you with a high voice, a low voice, octave high, octave low. And that's that. Um, and that's that producer, uh, producer, engineer to chemistry. To that's that chemistry again. Like they created their own sound Absolutely. with two people. In the Even studio. though I think that's for 
that's one case sensitive scenario where I think that's mostly Kendrick. But Maybe. at the end of the day, shout out to Probably the top. Probably so. Though. Probably so. Shout out to the top. But it's though. still a sound. It is at a the sound. end of the day. That he didn't sound. go on YouTube and find. Nah, he, he didn't find that sound that on shit. YouTube. He created that shit and that shit is popping. Shout out to Kendrick. And it's not even popping. But, it's not even popping because no one else fucking does it except for him. No one can do that. Right. I think there might be a girl on some of them tracks. Yeah. Behind him. Right. Like, oh, you want to get technical? In sync. Oh, yeah. you want to get technical? What I is? mean, hey, you know, just my ear. You oh, yeah. Saying? You know, there's a lot of people behind him <laughs> yeah. on those uh, <laughs> layered <laughs> portions of his tracks. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's, see, hold on. Let me just start here. So, hold on. So hold, who- hold, hold, hold. Real quick. OG talk. Guys, rappers, I don't understand how you guys don't look at these tracks. Kendrick Lamar, Kanye. And you're like, yo, what plugin did he use here? <laughs> what uh how many layers do you think this was? Now nah, there's some there's some artists that's doing that. They I, I didn't I, I'm not talking about some. I'm talking about everybody. Yeah. I got this one artist, he be hitting me in my DM. Mm-hmm. He'd be like, yo, what's this effect right here? I need this on my next job. See, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. No, no, that's how you should yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. Now, even if you don't know, now mind you. Shout out Too Rare. That's my guy, man. He's Shout definitely, out Too do- Rare. definitely doing his thing. You know what I mean? That's my guy. Shout out Too Rare. But um, listen, you guys should be listening to music, you rappers. Now, I'm only, just, I'm only talking to rappers right now. You rappers should be listening to music and saying, yo, how do I sound like that? Mm. How, what effect makes me sound like that? Or what key is this beat in? But so sometimes it ain't it ain't an effect, too. It's just that person's voice. And that's another conversation for another day. I'm just telling you be a student of the craft. Nah, exactly. That's all I'm trying Facts. to say at the moment. Or just try to be... Do your, uh, just be a do student of special. the craft. Do something special. Just be a student of the craft. Like, at the end of the day, like, there's shit like vocoders and fucking auto tunes and guitar plugins that I know 90%. Now, me, I'm a deep dude. So I get into that. But I know there's things that you guys not even, you wouldn't even know about. Yeah, I, just, even I add, just heard from a top engineer that uh, 90% of the pop songs have a vocoder behind the chorus. Behind the hook right now. You wouldn't even hear it though, but it's there and it's doing something. So you hear it. Little shit like that. Yeah. You heard it first. On the Shoot Your Shot podcast. Shoot oh, shoot your shot. (laughs) Oh I feel like the Henny is like putting us in slow motion a little bit. Like it's putting us in slow motion. (laughs) We here. We're about four or five shots deep. Mind you. It's pretty I just want to say I did a lot of shots last night. I've been up since five (laughs) AM. So I'm a little sweaty. And I'm just, I'm 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 trying to make that shit, bro. It's, it's all good shit. though. We you know, gotta keep it all the way to the kept, fish. We kept the around. vibe in here, you know what I'm we saying? We gotta we gotta keep the vibe in here. Yep. Let's go. Oh, are we ready? Shoot your right? shot. Oh, Hold God on, damn. Before we shoot a shot, you got a question for me? Um, yeah. All right, say less. Let's go. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, dickhead. <laughs> So this 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 for me is for all the youngins. That's because if you're grown, then you should know better. But I, I'm I, grown as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I want I want to touch on this because I I have this conversation a lot, and it definitely took some lives from us in in the hip hop game and the music game. So what you think about um, these artists and shit talking about drugs and shit in their lyrics? Like, and I'm not talking about weed, you know, I'm not talking about shit like, you know, liquor and shit. I'm talking about, like, perks and lean and all that good stuff. Like, and and and, and what I, and why I'm saying is because I feel like it affects the young kids in, like, high school and middle school that don't even know no better. And I don't know about you, but I see my fair share of junkies that we grew up with and still can't get that shit together. You know what I'm saying? That's a great question, Joe. Yeah, I mean. First things first. I'm the voice of the unpopular opinion, so I'm going to give you the raw way. Here's the raw way, and this is how I feel, my my opinion only. I don't represent anyone, just my opinion. Mm. Um, Same. First things first, um, drugs and music go hand in hand. 
Um, drugs take you to an outside level that you would not be at normally when you create music. So me, I like for example, fish grease. I'm a fish grease guy, all the way to the oils. I don't smoke weed, but if I'm trying to make a rap, I'm gonna smoke some weed. You understand what I'm saying? That's just a small minute. I'm not talking idea. about weed. Hold on. I know cool. you're not talking about weed. I'm just, I'm just hypothetically going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, you, y'all can hear the henny in our voice. Yeah, the henny is there, but no, that's not even here nor there. This is real talk. Nah, for for sure. Listen, these guys are doing lean and uh, shrooms and whatever else they may be doing. Weed, all these combos. You know why? Because they're trying to get more creative than the next person. But I feel like some of these rappers aren't even doing it no more. But they're still saying it to be cool. That's cool. You know Regardless I'm, of this I'm not going to name no names, but I I think that's the case with some of these well, listen, grown-ass men. Hold on, I wasn't done with my deep dive. I just want to give y'all a deep dive for you young guys, right? I'm going to tell y'all from the gate, I'm not here to... I'm not your mom nor your dad, so I don't give a fuck one way or another. <laughs> I'm going to keep it all the way to the oils with you. Listen... Do if you if yo, listen, we makes you more creative. Lean gonna get you in a, a zone that you're gonna make some good music, and shrooms will get you in that uh, outside looking in. That's strictly just straight up and down. And at the end of the day, like you know, none of it's good for you. It's all bad for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at the end of the day, like guys will take the bad. Like for example, I smoke cigarettes. N- all three of them together are better than cigarettes. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm just going to be... I don't, I'm just I don't be, know about the lean, bro. No, I'm going to be straight up and down with you. More people die from cigarettes than they do from lean. That's a yeah, fact. That is a definitely... Fi- that is what, what do you a call big it? Fendi, Fendi fact. <laughs> that is a fact. So what I'm trying yeah. to say is, at the end of the day... Dr- certain drugs make you more creative. What happens is you get into a zone, you're high, you're, you'll say something that your natural aura won't make you say, and sometimes that hits and sometimes that doesn't. But at the end of the day, like, it is what it is. Like, first of all, you shouldn't be taking no drugs if you don't think you're high. Like, if you're not even, if you're just getting into it in your intro and you're just getting into the studio, don't be taking drugs. Like, you're tripping. Like, I'm telling you from the gate. But if you are a seasoned vet and, you know, you're taking drugs and, you know, you're trying to get high and, you know, you're trying to get in the zone, I understand you. I will never judge you. You understand what I'm saying? I understand what you need that. Like, I get it. Like, I'm not one opposed to you, you know, popping uh this and sipping this or doing that or smoking that. You understand what I'm saying? I get it. You try and get to another level. You know what I'm saying? We we already told you you got to make a melody to fucking fuck with the best. <laughs> and and fucking you're not a melody. You you didn't sing never in your life. So that's what the game is nowadays. So you got to get somewhere you've never been. That's just a fact. So at the end of the day, I'm not opposed to rappers doing drugs. Of course, some people are going to die from doing drugs. Let's get this straight here. You know what I'm saying? Drugs are bad. <laughs> Let's get this straight <laughs> up and down. Drugs are bad. You understand what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. Smoking cigarettes are bad. But at the end of the day... If that's what you feel you need to get to the level you need to get to to make a melody that's going to make you a million dollars, how can I knock you? I'm not going to knock you. I know people in my job that fucking do coke to fucking <laughs> go through the day. God how am I going to knock you? You know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah. keeping it all the way to the fish grease. I can't. All right. Well, all right. I f- we feel you. I feel all right. you. All right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. just real talk. I feel you, bro, and and that's that is the case for a lot of people. I just my whole thing is I don't like it being promoted to the younger kids that don't even know no fucking better. You know well, what hold saying? on. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. But hold it's, on, hold on, it hold is on, what on. it is. Let me let me get saying? here. I just wanted to touch on it. Biggie Biggie talked about a Kango and a Coogee, and I never bought neither one, but I liked his music. Facts. Facts. I'm but not, drugs are a little different than that. I don't because, give a fuck. Like, yeah. yo, a rap, yo, listen. Listen, kids. Damn, <laughs> young men. At the end of the day, 
if you that influenced by what a motherfucker talking about, I'm not talking to you. And that's what I like to hear. You know what I'm like, saying? Like, on some real shit. Don't let shit. nobody tell you what you could yo, fucking do. Yo, like, yo, mm-hmm. it's your own path. It's your own journey. Mm-hmm. It's your own million. It's your own dollar. Like, at the end of the day, like, yo, this shit is crazy. Like, I'm not blaming no rapper for nothing. Right. Like, because I remember, let's go back to Eminem. Eminem yeah. first song, he was, killing, he was killing like, his wife. He, he was, no, no, he was like, yeah, they're going to blame me for fucking this nudity, but at the end of the day, Discovery Channel shows elephants fucking elephants. I remember the song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember it he like said, it was. I was in something was along in, them lines. Something along <laughs> them lines. I was in elementary school and I was like, "Yo, he's right." Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. was like, "Yo, yes, yeah. Eminem." And he had he had the elephant fucking the. Yo, the elephant was fucking tiger. an elephant tiger <laughs> yeah. or some weird shit was going nah, that's on. Real shit. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I should be watching pornography because I'm wrong. <laughs> and I was 14. Yes. Yo, like, fuck tough. all that. Like, that so I just wanted to touch on it, though, man, because I don't, I don't like to see people go down that road. And but yeah, I, and I, I don't, don't like wanna... to see people die. You know what I'm saying? Off but of don't shit. get it fucked up. We're not promoting that. Yeah. I don't want to promote that. I'm not promoting it, but I'm just going to let y'all know how I feel and, and, as you a know, person. We're not, we're not even promoting this. Like, this is what we do, you know? But this is probably Yo, worth, this is probably. If you're too young to do this, don't do this. Facts, and this, this is and, it, and this and if you do this shit every, we don't. I don't drink every day. I don't know about him. I'm I don't guessing either. you don't, I, but I don't drink every day. Man. And if you I got a lot of shit going exactly, on, exactly, I like, do not like, drink every day. Like yo, we really grown. Like we 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 doing businesses and all that shit. Absolutely, you can't drink every day, bro. Because, like, I know this is the one. This is the one that shit got me sweating. I've been sweating the entire. <laughs> Hot. Yeah, but honestly though, this is the one drug that if you if you drink this every day and 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 you stop cold turkey, you can die. You feel me? So this is one. This is that drug that does that. So I don't want to promote it, but this is definitely a part of our podcast. You know what I'm saying? But we not Man, promoting fuck this that. shit. Young boys. Yeah, young boys. Listen to this. Twenty. Be twenty one if you gonna pick this shit. I don't give a fuck what you do. At the end of the day, you gotta face the repercussions of what you going to do. Mm. And that's gangster shit. <laughs> we ain't fucking around. I'm not politicking. I'm keeping it all the way to the fish grease with you. We drinking. You want to drink? It, it comes with a thing. Yeah. You know what it I'm saying? You, you, you want to smoke day, weed? Feeling like you want to fucking do lean? It comes with something. Yeah. Hey, you going to face right. this something or you not? As simple as that. If not, stay off it. As simple as that. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not with all the bullshit. I'm not these other podcasts. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna keep it all the way to the fish grease with you. Right. And that shit is on some nut shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Up, Eminem. I... Shout out back to Eminem. <laughs> Eminem. <laughs> Eminem need to get back on the fucking drugs. <laughs> Cause he tripping, yeah. yo. That sober Eminem, <laughs> fuck his life. But that high nah, Eminem, don't say that, don't say that. Yo, that high Eminem <laughs> is me. What the fuck? I'm uh, keeping the audience to the grease. God damn! I hope, I hope y'all having as much fun as we are. Yo, we having show, fun. I'm just keeping it to the Yo, damn! A shooter a shot on that yeah, one. Yeah, we do. We get but fucking, fucking uh, Eminem, dog. Yo, the, get high, dog. The Henny, the Henny gonna turn this going up. I don't care about none of your fucking escapades. Nah, don't tell him that. I don't want to see M get high because it's not good for him. You know what I'm saying? Fuck his life. Make some good fucking music <laughs> on some fucking drugs, pussy. Nigga, I don't care how high you got off of volume <laughs> and you thought about killing your mom. Tell me about it, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? You got a game right, Let's shoot up. a shot. We gonna switch the topic, baby. I just wanted to touch on that, man. Shout out Absolutely. to the youth, man. If you're the youth, do do what you need to do. You feel me? You heard it from the best, though. It just causes do what you need to do, man. And know that don't go following people, man, that's doing drugs because... You know what I'm saying? The, the, the hard drugs, the drugs that are addictive, it's not the way to go in life, man. Absolutely not. Definitely. I seen like some of my best friends and, and shit. And I don't care if you want the drugs. <clears throat> this is what they I will say in closing on this, because I'm not going to talk about it no more. But at the end of the day, I don't care if you do a pint million a day, you still got to be about your business. Facts. And get that money and, 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 and make your life better. And if you... Uh, Nine times out of ten, if you if if you depend on a drug to 
to make you Get feel you good, the money ain't going to do shit for At you. At all. You know what I mean? So, yeah. just want to touch on that. You know what I'm saying? You got you got a little topic for me or something? Or what's up? <clears throat> I got a question. Right? Drake. I got to touch on Drake real quick. Shout out to Drizzy Drake. I'm going to just call him fucking Aubrey the Great. <laughs> Listen to this, right? Is Drake going to drop before June? Yes. Over under. Absolutely. Over under. He might drop right before June because it's like a, a second quarter. Second quarter. So you yeah. got Drake dropping second quarter. Yeah, because what did he drop? Scorpion in June, right? Of uh, what, two years ago? I don't know what date he dropped Scorpion. We're going to have to YouTube or Google that. I but think I'm, it was, though. I think it was around that time. But I know mistaken. I was supposed to go to the concert. But I know he's he's September. cooking, though, right? He's definitely cooking. So you know he's going to drop. I've heard a lot of stories about him cooking, and I'm very plugged in. And, and, he's and that, John, that John with him in future is, well, that John with him. But he I think that that's what up. he's cooking. Yeah. He's cooking but his he, main but shit. Then, but then again. But I heard oh, there's another. But time out. Drake, again, Drake said one of the epic lines that, Touch Tell my me what soul. Drake so, said. He said, "Working on the weekends like usual." Usual. <laughs> like yo, I, yo, yo, shout out to Drake, shout dog. Out to Drake, dog. That shit, shout out to Drake. Drake. Yo, you Working be saying on the weekends like usual. usual. Oh, we got to shoot a shot. Damn, dog, dog. Drake. What he say too? He said, "Damn, yo, it's cool." I missed the whole. I missed the whole. Yo, whole he also <laughs> said. Uh, he also said, "I'm too turned up. I ain't do my taxes." <laughs> I was Yo. about to make a joke there, but I believe it alone. Yeah, we- <laughs> <laughs> I feel you though, Jake. I feel you, bro. Yo, I understand you I on that one. You, bro. Uh, yo, we turned up, dog. We put the follow up. Te- we get so much money around. We put the follow up taxes quarterly, but we. But don't- that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes you too turned up. It's like I don't even feel like going to the accountant, bro. Like I'm just trying to get this money. Hey, yo, shout out Sunny from Wells Fargo, by the way. Shout yeah. out to P and B too. Yeah, shout out, shout out, Sunny. Um. Yeah, we on. We on, baby. That's what the point, baby. I, I knew that the ham rock was going to take level. us to another level. You know what I'm saying? Give That's... me another question, gentlemen. You got all the questions. Wait, right what now. was your question? You were going to touch on Drake. I didn't touch on Drake. Okay. Now, yeah, so... I just gave you that one line and fucked everybody's head up because that shit was... F- no, yo, I did ask That you. shit was fire. Before or after June. Oh, when's he going to drop? Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm drunk. Shit. <laughs> Whew. Damn. Come on, dog. Let's give me a question. All right, all right. Let me give you a question now. I'm all waiting right. on you. All right, so... um, <clears throat> Yeah, baby. That's Let's what I was talking it. about. Shoot your fucking Before shot. Before you even ask that question, you yeah. see my shot at? Let's shoot, get it. Shoot your fucking shot, dickhead. Woo! Yeah. <clears throat> all right, so let me ask you this. I'm listening. Eminem 2, Drake, top of the game, J. Cole, Melodies, please don't come with me all this lyricism, chopping the beats up. That's the summary of the podcast. Chopping them flows up. Make a hit, please. And then you could chop the flows up. Yeah, or do what you feel. If you or, ask me. Actually, I like that better. Do what you feel. Do what you feel, man. Stop following these tight Don't beats. listen to me neither. Do like, what you feel. And, and it's not for everybody. Because, man. hold on. Talk about Buster Rouse could come out with a hit tomorrow, and I'll be like, damn, he chopped the shit out of that jewel. That right, shit but, was crazy. Right, but <laughs> when when he did it, he did that shit. He said, ain't nobody going to be, I can roll the dice on this motherfucking shit. But he shit, said nah, nah. some hot ass shit, though. Yo, him a little weight on look, that Chris But when he said, record. look at me now. Bro, he was saying some bars, though. He had some lyrics on that shit. He said, shit. ain't nobody going to be, And, yo... If TikTok was around back then, oh man, whew, that John would have been TikTok Yano. That John might have been was might have been at number one. Hey, you see where we at on this Henny? Yeah, it's, it's double shot of Henny Rock put me where I want to be. be. I'm sitting Yo, on this every, I'm every time I drink I Henny, be. that's the first bar I think of. Shout out to Meek Mill. Double shot of Henny Rock put me where I want to be. I'm smoking. If y'all don't know, that's Meek, Meek Mill's first album. Way back. That's way, like track number five. Way back. Something and we, like I'm loose now, too, bro. Like, we you should probably, now? maybe we need to start the podcast off like this. <laughs> I don't know, man. We working this shit out. You we know working what I'm this shit out, man. I know I was real stiff in the beginning, though, because I always get like that. I get like the, the nervousness and the, 
You know, I don't know what you to could, say. You could, What are yeah. you talking about? But right? whatever. It don't matter. We here. We lit. <laughs> I'm right, so, always lit. So, all the way around the board. So my question is, and my, question? or topic, question, whatever. All right, so what's right. the what's the the um, biggest failure failure that you see most commonly with the artist? Cool, thank you. I'm glad you all you me there. First things first, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna just don't even worry about this. I got this from here on. <laughs> first things first, artists, OG talk, OG talk. I, I understand you artists don't understand the game. So let me understand, let me give you the recording process, okay? I gave you the promotion side. Stum it down though. I gave you the promotion. Te- they gotta come here for me to teach them that. Like that All shit, right, that that's, shit too easy. That's cool, but let me let me just let me just talk to them. Listen, I gave you the promotion side last time, so now I gotta give you the recording process this time. Okay, first things first. Only thing I'm gonna talk about on this podcast, and I'm gonna get to more shit later. It's tone. Listen, guys, I don't think y'all understand, but um, the whole record that you're recording on depends on tone. So it's the the tone that you're rapping on, and it starts now, hold with on. our tone as in a podcast. Like it's how you're projecting yourself. It's how you're projecting yourself. What key is your natural voice on? I think uh, a lot of you artists from this is a major key. I need a bell or something. I'm going to start getting a bell. This is a major key right here. Yo, a lot of you artists need to... Listen, there's a there's an app slash program called Key Finder. Listen, you record yourself talking, regular talking, like at, at your normalest, regular voice. See what key your voice is in, okay? That's interesting that you say that because... See what key your voice is in. Now, when you find out what key your voice is in, look for a beat in the key that your voice is in. Mm. This is major key. That's a big. That's a big major key. Really. This is like groundbreaking. And you may have to. This uh, is like I'm giving you like the secrets that I learned <laughs> that took me 13, 14 years to learn. Or don't even. Not even your talking voice when you're like. All right, say you spit your bo- your right, hold on, in the hold car on, hold on. or whatever. Hold on, hold on. Tell me, your spitting Time voice. Tell me, there's a circle of fifths. There's a thing called the circle of fifths. But, so but like, they got, but they got another scales to even hold get on, into hold that. Hold on, we're not so. I'm just gonna say there's a thing called the circle of fifths. So like, let's just say your natural voice is at a C minor. You want to be with between a C minor, a E, or a D, and that's like. The circle of fifths. So you'll look at well, the circle. Nah, I don't give them that because it could it could change. But could but change. listen, but listen. But hold on, hold on. But Study hold on, music hold on, theory one oh one. The the very beginning of music theory, and you can figure that shit out, at least to the point where he's talking about and hey, learn the circle of fifths. That's the thing that fucked me up about Roddy Rich. He go he's up there, bro. Yo, he's t- Roddy he's up top. Rich just played a Mozart record for me. Front to back on a keyboard. Oh, he's like that? He's like that. Oh, he's like that, my man. Yo, I didn't even know that. Now, let me tell you something else about... Yo, about, hold Let on, me hold tell on, you something on. else, though, about right, certain artists. <clears throat> some artists and some people, and, it, it's, not, and it's not it's not, nothing you could do about it, are, are something called tone deaf. All right? Mm. I don't know if you heard this term or I not like before. That. I like that you're saying that because that's you're the first person to say that. All right, well, tone deaf is, a, is real. I can't say that because I don't record people a lot. All right, well, tone deaf is real, and I deal with it. It happens, and it's it, and I don't take offense because some people are. Like, I know a, I'm not going to say her I'm name. I'm a little tone deaf myself, so don't take offense. <laughs> I'm not going to say her name, but a huge singer in the game is tone deaf. And if you listen to her, her earlier records before autotune, you can tell. But Total, tell me. Tone deaf is not being able to hear the tone of the beat and the tone of your voice. No, tone deaf is not being able to hear the key. key of sing the key. in key. Tone deaf is not being able to tell well, hold on, hold on, hold on. when you're in key tell and when on, you're tell not. On, tell on, tell on. Key is a, a specific term for a note that yes. is, the, is the, the beat. Google that the shit. Beat. The, the beat is on. Every song, every key, song is in a key. I said key meaning like the note that the beat is on. 
Right. You know what I'm exactly. Saying? So 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 every beat is in a certain key. Uh, every beat is, and that's in why a I tell you to go learn key. music theory because. And shout out to Rowdy Rich. Like I said, he that's really he played piano though, bro. That my man. He played piano my so man. well my that man. It, it 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 fucked me up. Yo, shout out to the musicians yo, 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 that yo, sing. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Rowdy Rich, I'm gonna say this now. This is 2019 or 2000, 2020 actually. Yeah. So we get it to 2020. 2020, baby. Yo, we out here. yo, he is so well at playing the piano that I tell you that he's gonna be top five rappers in the game. Yeah. In the next five That's years. big, bro. That, that's a big thing. I'm telling thing. you, Roddy Rich can play Mozart front to back with his eyes closed. That's fucking G, first off. First and foremost, I that's was so, G. Yo, go to Roddy Rich Instagram. Go to Roddy Rich Instagram. Yo, shout out Roddy Rich, bro. Shout I fuck with you Rich. even more now, bro. Real rap, because... Yo, I never knew he could play the keys. Cause I'm, cause, I tell you, I can see you play the keys. Let me just touch on so this real different. quick, bro. So... Music is music, right? So if you're a rapper, and, and especially if you're using autotune and you're an autotune type rapper or singer, you know what I'm saying? So you're getting jumbo to put you in the tone. Not only that, but you are an instrument. Facts. So, so when a beat is made, you have certain instruments that carry a certain key, right? Facts. So set, let's just break it down. So say you have a piano, right? And there's a piano on your beat, right? And this is for the people that don't know music theory. And I know the people that this do. This is basic music. And theory. I know the people that do know music theory are like. And we're giving uh, it to duh. y'all just because. <laughs> just because this is what I want to do, bro. I want people to be, get better. Want people to understand and get better. Right. I, I, that's all I want, bro. I want people to come Talk in here and be shit, the Joe. best. You feel me? I want, Talk your shit. Joe. I want people to come into this studio and be the fucking shit. You feel me? Before you do that, though. We got to shoot our shot. <laughs> oh, shit. We had it poured. I didn't even know. We on, baby. We on. But this is really important to me, bro. I really want I really want people to understand this shit. Go ahead. Talk your shit. So, 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 when you're, when you're on the auto-tune, you are an instrument. You are. That's a fact. So, say, so, say a piano is on your beat, right? And it's playing something. It's in a key, Right? It's in a key. It may Hypothetically, be... Hypothetically, if did it... Yeah. It's in a key. There's there's only 12 notes in the fucking... In, in music. There's only 12 of them. Learn them all. You feel me? And learn your scales. And to the artists that come here, you see me playing on the piano and shit, that's because I know my fucking scales and I, I'll, be try, I'll be putting you in key every time. So... So you are an instrument when you use the auto-tune. Fact. You feel me? So... What is that? <laughs> Yo, fuck jumbo slipping. Listen, I got you. No, no, no. So, no, no, so, here, no, no, so here's my no, point. No, no, here's my no, point. No, no, no. Learn your key, right? Learn your right. key. Learn your your scales, and and try to learn. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock out with this one. Yeah, no, I'm going. I'm going to. I, I really, I really mean well with this, bro. Like, I really mean this. Yo, shit, this bro. is really a. Like game, <laughs> like, I'm just keeping a beam with you. Like yo, listen, hold I on. I got off track when yo, we, we poured that last let, shot. Let me do it. Well, let me finish it off, and then I we go. go when go, we go, go open go, something go, else. Go. So 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 learn your basic scales, bro, and 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 look up and and uh, for the artists that sing with the auto tune, look up a vocal warm up exercise and just do that shit, bro. And and look and look up basic music theory, and you know what I'm saying. And learn learn it learn it a little bit and try to. Try to be in key when when you, hey, yo, when you listen, put a beat on like listen, that. Listen, fuck all that. I got a better. I got a better aspect for you. Listen, <laughs> first things first. This is what you're going to do. You're going to start with a vocal exercise, um, app. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, or YouTube fucking YouTube, vocal exercise. Warm up. Vocal exercise. You know what I'm saying? That's first things first. Second, know what key you're in. You know what I'm saying? There's there's twelve there's twelve notes in every key. As simple as that. And there's and twelve at, notes in music, period. There's twelve notes in music, period. So at every key there's twelve notes. So you wanna be in between uh twelve notes. I don't care what twelve. No, you wanna be in the key of the beat. So whatever the beat whatever whatever the beat is, Hold you on. need no, to be no, in no, that no, key. I, no, no, period. No, I, I I won't even agree with you on that. I won't even agree with you on that. You could be off the key. At the end of the day, 
you just need to be in the same key. So I don't yeah, care yeah, if you're yeah, like, exactly. yo, I don't care if you're in A and the beat is in B. We're right, trying to get I mean. you. You need to be in key. You need to be in key all the way across the board. Every scale has certain keys in the So beat. listen, but when, listen, you, when listen. you hear yourself, yo, listen, go to an app and, and, and literally you can push a button. Dun, dun, <laughs> right. dun, dun, and know what dun. notes they are when you do it. Okay, so I did to go, I only smoke weed today. You know what I'm saying? It's exactly. like simple. It's like it's simple. It's, it's, it's like simple music theory simple for people that that play instruments theory. and know that shit. It's very simple, and and boom, that's all we we it's gonna like talk. That's simple it. That's it. We we gotta take it somewhere else because well, I think it's been about an hour. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> it's been over an hour. Yeah, it's been over an hour. So. Yeah, bro. We on. <laughs> we definitely on, bro. So hey, on this episode, listen, this shit actually that shit could have been a lot better if we weren't listen, as on oh, right now. Oh, <laughs> but but no, no, we no, want to no. be on. No, that's this. the whole point, bro. This. We keeping it real. This. You feel me? I got this. But go ahead. I'm gonna let check. We're gonna end this out right here, right here. Right, right, right. Dig this. First things first. Artists, new artists, understand music theory. If you don't understand music theory, then uh, then you're not an artist, and I don't want to talk to you. I'm just be honest. So I don't want to talk to you. I don't care what Interscope want to do. I don't care what you think Epic want to do. I'm telling you what I don't want to do. Yeah. Now, now, you don't want to, hold on. now if you're oh, a rapper, oh, hold on. If you don't what? understand music theory, I don't want to talk to you. Second. <laughs> Number two. Now, you understand music theory. Now you're trying to make a melody. Now if you now if you don't now, understand music theory and you're trying to make a melody, that's cool. But you'll be ten times better if you do understand music theory. Period. Facts. Google mu- music theory. I'm not here to explain that to you. That's that'll take me weeks on end. No, nah, because honestly, you don't know it that well. And I, don't I don't know, know what it even. That- hold on. Yeah, let me let me give them that. I'm the real setting in game. I don't even know music theory that well, and I know it. I know very one basic. key, and that's C, <laughs> right? And it, it, and that's the white keys, all the white keys, C major, C major. Also, and your and your circle of fifths, circle a, of fifths. a minor, a minor. So I hope that resonates to somebody that has See, a keyboard. And all that talk was over your head. Yeah, well, not everybody, because some people are like, duh, dickhead. Like, okay, you well, know that shit. I'm not talking to the, the, the dog. Dickhead. <laughs> I'm talking to the people that don't know what's going on. Right. And I I look forward to the people that don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. And shout out to episode number two. It's episode number two, baby. Well, we, we need one more. We're not leaving without shooting a fucking shot Absolutely. like we was about to do last time. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But Yo, yeah. I'm just telling y'all. I'm giving y'all game. I'm giving y'all a million dollars worth of game. No uh, bullshit. Right. And shout out it's to the million free. dollars worth of game. Because shout out to Gilly and them. We fuck with y'all. Here. Damn. Ho, 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 ho. This is epic right here. This is very oh, epic. Oh, the bottle does. This is very. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. This is an epic Not moment right here. Bottle I don't know too many people. Nigga, finish a bottle of tequila. <laughs> I don't know too many Henny. motherfuckers, bro. Between two I people. might know one <laughs> who fucked the whole life up doing this shit. Let's go. Yeah, you know I mean, so, yo, shoot your fucking shot. Yeah, you know I mean. Shoot your shot, dickhead. We turning the fuck up, man. A whole fucking bottle, bro. We out here. Got that be from Jumbo.